Alright guys, in this video I'm about to show you how you can actually create this simple logo carousel for your WordPress website. And by the way, we're not gonna use uh, anything extra in this video, so we're not gonna use Elementor, we're not gonna use uh, a bunch of plugins, some heavy WordPress themes. All we're gonna use is just this default WordPress theme, which is um, 2024. Here it is, so I'm just... I just have this 2024 theme activated for my website and we also have a single plugin which allows you to use a carousel block. So if you just go to plugins right here, you can see that we have the only plugin active. Yes, that's my plugin guys and I will leave a link to it down in the description below. And um, right now let's just go ahead and edit this home page and um, create a carousel like this. Yes, I know that this carousel is already created, so we just remove this example and create it from scratch. I'm just gonna show you how to do that. All right, and let's just go to Appearance Editor because it is a block theme, yes. But uh, this plugin is gonna work for any Gutenberg theme. It doesn't matter whether it's, it is a block theme or a classic theme. and. Um, here we already have like our home page open so let's just click on it and now we can edit this home page first of all let's just remove this carousel example from here we can select it like this and then hit delete or we can select it from here as well and also remove it okay let's do that and now let's uh, create this carousel again from scratch right so i'm just gonna hit add a new block and you can type slash and select a carousel from here or you can actually use this plus button and scroll down a little bit and find this carousel block in the design section. Okay, let's add it right now and let's add a couple of slides over here. And here in our example, we are actually using five slides to be displayed at the same time. So let's just go to the carousel settings over here let's select our carousel block and now the settings is displayed for this block itself and let's say we're gonna show five slides at the same time like this let's make our carousel like wide width and let's add a bunch of slides like this okay and now let's add our logos into the slides so i'm just gonna add an image block and then go to the media library and yes, I already have a couple of uh, logos right here already uploaded to our website because it, it is all because we're gonna save a little bit of time on this video. And let's just go ahead and add the logos like this. And by the way, we're gonna need some formatting for these images, but for now let's just insert it and then we come back and do some customization. Okay, the next one may be rip curl, then let's just add something like this, why not? And and so on guys. So I'm just gonna add all the logos like this. All right, now we have all our images like this available right here. And as you can see, some of them are different sizes, uh, maybe, and um, yes, and we need to align them somehow, right? And let's start from the, from the beginning. So first of all, I'm just gonna make it a little bit smaller, then align center. Then I'm gonna select this light and aligned it by the middle and here we can just hit this all right align middle just align middle 
this seems to be also in a good size so we just need to align it and uh, this one should be a little bit smaller I guess align center and middle this is definitely should be smaller align center and um, we can also change the order of our logos like this okay almost done and the last one wordpress okay align middle and uh, it's done and now let's go to our carousel settings once again and let's uh, check it out so first of all we need to activate autoplay and we also need to make it infinite scroll so and that's why i added so many logos right here because we have to have a bunch of logos in our carousel to make them scrolling in like infinite mode okay on that save and by the way how we find out if we are using a different carousel here I guess we will find out. So let's refresh the page. And yes, as you can see, we have uh, like <laughs> logos right now in a different order. So currently we are using our new example, which I just created in this page. Just like that, guys, and uh, as simple as that. And also you can make your carousel responsive using this, this option. So you can display, for example, two logos for your mobile phones or something like that on that it is all i wanted to show you i will leave a link down to the plugin in the description below and if you watched to the end thank you and have a nice day bye